and then uh you should be good start, start talking okay yeah I, I can yo see. yo check 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 we back on live again for the last time the first time i don't know why i said that dude. yo what it is we're back sorry for the technical difficulties on my part uh a little setting here and there but you know it's uh we're learning still so what it is we're back 44 check. episodes in we still learning check 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 let me check my audio real quick uh Check 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 check. Bust the bar, dude. Spit a bar. All right, cool. We are uh good. I just need to move this right over here. Spot spider spot. Okay, that was not a bar, but it's okay. So let's uh oh yeah. You know we we had our conversation about my house and then my me me having an epiphany and then I gotta let go of some people and then we're gonna go right into the videos. Is that what a is that what it is, or are you gonna yeah, tell me about uh, how your week is? You talk right into them. Okay. Right into uh, videos. Okay, before we go into the videos, have you talked to? Uh, have you introduced yourself to that Korean chick at church? No, I have not. Um, today, uh, last weekend, I did a virtual. Uh, I, I watched it through virtual, so I didn't. I didn't even see her. Um, but there's another girl at school. Uh, hopefully, um, you know, we get that going. Um, I'm telling you, I'm lowering my standards to like whoever wants to communicate with me. Is it, bro? <laughs> God, damn. don't call it that. You don't got. You don't got to call it that. Just say I'm meeting I'll people speak. who are trying to meet me. There you go. Say uh, that. Say that, man. God damn, bro. Uh, all right. Any order you want to do these uh, videos in? Man? I sent it through. Uh, yeah. Okay. I I, yeah. I got all three of your videos. Oh yeah, you can just send anyone, bro. Anyone works. Here we go, kid. Starting with the first video. Uh, just a reminder, everybody. Um, five hundred star donation gets your question answered. All right. So any any question you want us to answer, five hundred stars. We appreciate it. If you do or if you don't. Uh, with that being said, here's the video. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna say. If she's not annoying you, want to see you more, pestering you about more time, you know, always trying to get your attention. She's getting it somewhere else. Guaranteed, bro. I guarantee, bro. Somewhere else, either another guy, social media, going out with girls to like show off. It's just like, bro. She needs to be clingy, bro. Yeah. If she's not clingy, that's a problem. That's a problem, man. That, yeah. that, 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 that's so insecure. She has her own. Blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, bro. You, you, you niggas, uh, guy, niggas that say dumb shit like that, you're with a bitch that's just tolerating your dumb ass. She tells you what to do. She tells you, oh, we need to do this. That's the bitch that's nagging you. A lot of you niggas that sit there that don't agree with me on this shit, y'all are in an equal partnership with your girl. And that's not what you want. That's you what modern day society tells you. Yo, you need to be in a relationship where she got her own and you guys are bringing 50 50 and it's a partnership. Let me tell you something. Women don't want a partnership. Yo. Mmm. Man. What do you think? What do you think? Hey man, is there, is there a reason why you chose that video, man? That's what, that's what I want to know. Uh, there's multiple reasons why. Okay. Uh, uh well, obviously, I thought about I thought about you and your situation. Well, you said uh, um, Baku was the one that was his first clingy to you and like <laughs> I was fine to be with you right yeah yeah and I was like I was like that's you know that's true because like uh uh even with my ex like like even though I didn't like the clinginess like I have the direction of the relationship you know and um yeah I picked that video because it's so true man she's not gonna leave you if she's clingy to you man and um you want that why do you, you really why do you do. uh what do you think that is man why do you think she's clingy? No, no, or, or or because she's clingy, that means she doesn't. She's not gonna try to leave you. Why do you, Why do you think? Why do you think that is? Oh, be, um, because the attention, the attention is always uh on you. She's always pursuing you, and she always wants you to be close to her. You know, so our attention is always like the energy is always going towards you, and um, that's why. Other than like diverting it to uh somebody else or like you know being trying to be too independent or like she's just trying to do her own thing 
and then being more free. I'm not saying that's like wrong. I mean, you do that too. But then like the cleanest, but when she turns to you, she has, she has to have an energy, the clean energy with you. Cause she can't just have the independent energy by herself and then bring that same energy to you, you know, in a, in a relationship, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really connect well. You know, it's, you're not going to get closer. You know, it's just two individuals fucking, really. Okay. okay. Yeah. What if, uh, what if, uh, what if you're busy being an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? What are you busy hustling? Uh, I think there's, um, if she's still clinging to you, that's, that's still signs that she wants to be with you. When a person is clinging to you, she's not going to leave you. Yeah, she's not gonna want to leave you. She's gonna want to, you know, want to be with you, and maybe even stalk you, for it, you know. So, even if you're busy, I think you make time. You definitely make time to spend at least an hour, or like you know, a day out of the week to spend time with her for sure. Okay, cool, man. But then, like, 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 well, like, who, who in your past relationships have been the cleanest? Uh, my ex, um, my recent one. Oh yeah. Uh, but okay. yeah, uh, that's why I thought about it. So I was like, man, um, she was so clean at first, but I didn't like it because I was just I was not I was not used to it. But she stuck with me, even though how she, like I was so shitty to her, like she still stuck with me. You know what I mean? And then the moment when she stopped being clingy, I was kind of proud of. Her. I was like, oh wow, great. We had you know, you <laughs> finally, <enjoyed it>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally give a got, got me my space. Thank you. Thanks for listening. <laughs> and uh that that really uh separated us apart was because she wasn't clean anymore you know she was just like doing her own thing uh she was not like proud of the relationship anymore she was just kind of like i i ruined that shit and i and i understand that i ruined that shit and i can't really ask that back you know i can just start new with somebody you know so yeah so uh, I appreciate the cleanness, man. Uh, she might be the one because a girl that's committed to you, that's that's all about it. She's just got to commit. And cleanliness is, is a, it's a huge sign to like the com- to commitment, yeah. you know? A trait, a trait that, that you, yeah. that, that's a green flag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for when, sure. When does, uh, when does uh, cleanliness become toxic? Hmm. When it starts to involve, um, like when when she's um, not respecting your boundary, okay. Uh, mm. Like example, if you're if you're going to school, like example, you're you're in class and she's like waiting outside in class, like from the start to end. I mean, that might be a little bit too much. You know what I mean? Like that's that that's a lot. You know, like you like I want her to respect her time too. And maybe go do something. Maybe yeah, you can meet me after class. But if you're waiting out there for like fucking like like a dog, yeah, you know, he's like, you know, it's not good. That's not healthy. You know what I mean? I can be too much. Okay. Or All like right. stocking. Shit. What if she was like? Uh, what if she was like an eight? Oh, she was she's she was an eight, and she was like that clingy. You dropped down to a six. That's what happens. <laughs> Easy. You drop down your numbers, man. That's, that's gonna, really? That's gonna, okay. Yeah, right. you see in a different lens. Well, externally, like, well, well, that's that's all I'm saying. Like externally, she's she's fine, right? She's like an eight, like a solid eight. And then, but she kind of you know clingy in that way. You, you you turned off by that? Um. Yes. Yeah. In, in a way. Yeah. Because right. um, okay. yeah, because that's that's too much, man. Uh, I'm not sure what it is too. Like it's just a bad feeling, um, you know. Okay. I don't know. It feels so like you're so responsible. You know, the fully responsible for this person's time, you know. And I don't know. I just it's a lot. Okay. All right. That's called maturity, brother. I'm I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud you're not. You're not, you're not about that. <laughs> oh, man. It's so funny. Because um, well, the reason why I picked that video, too, because my friend, uh, he never had a girlfriend. Um, and he 
he had like a uh, abandonment issues, right? And um, so he he wants that like honeymoon. He never felt. He just like he's been like uh, just imagining the 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 love, the other the the blowjobs and and and. and Sex that he can yeah. have with the chick and just having her with her with him the whole time. And I'm like, damn, that just that's cool. I mean, but then you'll learn, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can't, it's mean, not, it's not realistic, but, it ain't gonna last because uh, that's the hunt, like you said, the honeymoon phase, and that's just that puppy love phase. And then after yeah. a while, it's like, all right, let's let's get some shit, some, some shit done, you know what I'm saying? Let's. Let's work on some shit. Let's do something with with some, you know, validity, you know. So Yeah. I remember uh even my, my previous ex too, like it's all we did was just hung out and like and fuck. And it was just like became toxic to from it. Obviously it was so boring. Like after sex, it's kinda okay, we just kinda chill here. What did we do? We're not utilizing our time to build our life. It's just like we're just there emotionally, but there's no growth to that emotion or our life or anywhere else. Yeah. And that's where it becomes toxic. It's just like, there's just so much to one and finding escape routes eventually down the road. You know? Yeah. I'd say there's a lot of truth to that, man. Cause like, like, uh, when me and my wife, we first got married, it was just, you know, we were just having sex everywhere, you know? Um, and then we, we eventually mellowed out and then we had kids. And then, so now like that, um, I guess the sex drive piece of things, right? It's like, it's it's kind of there again, you know. But it it uh, I miss it, man. <laughs> oh man, you know, I remember I remember not having kids, man. It was just like whenever we wanted to, man. But we got kids, we got you know this house thing going on. There's a lot of moving pieces, you know. So. We're like way out of the fucking honeymoon stage, and it's so like it's it's not like we don't desire each other. We definitely do desire each other, you know. But it's just now that there's a lot of moving pieces that we gotta move around before we can actually yeah. set a time to say, hey, you know, our sex appointment. You know, um, can, we, can we even make this sex appointment because we got so much shit going on, you know? And so, um, that's that's so funny because. Um even uh, with my previous ex, like we would have uh, sex appointments and stuff, because uh, we're just so she's just so busy with her stuff. And uh, I remember, um, like every time she's like, "Oh man, I'll 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 give you uh, I'll blow you tonight, right?" And I'm like, "Hell yeah!" So like I'll like make sure like you know she's fed, make sure like I'm showered up, I'm clean, make sure I'm still awake. And uh, it just never happens, dude. Like it's just like it's it's one out of uh, maybe a week, uh, a seven to maybe hit. You know what I mean? Like, well, just, <laughs> there goes that chance. Right? Yeah. Hey, sh- I mean, hey shout I mean, out, shout out, real quick to uh, Yiv Vang. Thanks for the ninety nine stars. Appreciate that. We we appreciate you guys uh, sending us some stars, even though um, we give you guys bad advice. Uh, yeah, this she she's new. I haven't seen her on the chat at all. Yeah, that that yeah that that oh. name doesn't seem familiar. So shout out to Yiv, man. Uh, Thank you. Looks like a woman. Yeah, a woman with her kid. That's cute, but cool. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the ninety nine stars. <laughs> Stay tuned for more bad advice. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so my my reaction to that video, man, is like um. What was that video again? Oh yeah, yeah, the Myron and Fresh and Fit. I think uh, there's a lot of truth to that. Like in, I would say that's more in the dating phase, right? Where where she's attracted to you. That's why she's clingy. You know, it's just in a woman's yeah. nature to to want your attention, right? Because she desires you. You know, she desires your attention. And then uh, when she doesn't no more, right? Most often times is because she's. No longer interested. She's on her way out, you know. Um, yeah. And so That's either so- either you you know get your shit together, and then you know get that relationship going again, or she's you know seeing herself out, you know, or at least or at least she's with you because she generally wants to be with you, but she still has to fulfill that need of attention from you know from her man or a man, you know. And so she's either getting it from somebody else, 
most likely or she's going to get it from you and preferably from you uh, unless you're into that shit, stuff but <laughs> but uh, uh and then so that's that's dating go, go ahead what are you gonna say no that's that's so true man uh like that's I love the storyline of like what i what it was and uh, i was already too late and i didn't at that point um man if i really think about it i was actually screaming for help but anyways man yeah yeah you yeah that's that's so true bro yeah. i mean i couldn't uh, agree more man uh, and 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 also I, I wanted to add on to that too is that it's not just the dating phase piece it's like when you yeah. get more serious when you get engaged and you get married and you have kids like that cat and mouse game has always got to be played you know like not it's not always you know the chick pursuing the guy but the guy also has to pursue the chick too i think you know one of our earlier episodes we mentioned this too is that this this chase this cat and mouse chase of desiring each other you know um has to always be there so um definitely got to make time there there was um a certain time in my in my uh um career where i did just focus on the the hustle you know and and i was away from the home for a while even even when i had my first kid too i was away for a while too and and trying to build something for us but you know i i didn't put attention to the relationship to my wife and and to my son at the time but mostly my wife you know um because that's your that's your neck in your life, in your relationship, in your in your family nucleus. You know, you, the man, the head, and then the neck is the wife. So I think it's it's uh, not only important during the dating phase, but also, you know, throughout the life of that relationship. So I agree. Solid. Yeah. Um, yeah. As, as as long as you guys are, um, well, what, is it is. In a relationship, My, looking back to it and, and, and just fixing, you know, what you guys did. And acknowledging uh, each other's mistakes, too, and, and progressing from there. That's that's the key to it, too, man. Yeah, 100%, dude. Cool. You ready for this next video? Yeah, let's go for it. Cool. I like, I think, I, I think I'm going to like this one, man. I know this guy. My ex-wife is married for over a decade now to a phenomenal guy who is perfect for her. And he's nothing like me, by the way. Like, like if you met him and you met both of us, you'd go, well, no one could love both of these guys. Because like, <laughs> if you like this flavor, you wouldn't like this flavor. Yeah. Like, I am impatient, fast talking, like skip to the end, we gotta land this plane, come on. And he's like, he's therapist, he's chill, he's like patient and they're perfect together. And I can say that as someone who loves her and loved her, you know, and knows her or knew her. Like, and, and I, I think if we can, you know, if we can radically view honestly, like without jealousy, without, you know, without the sense of like, with, look at it and just go, yeah, yeah, okay. Like this, like this is the love this person needed. Like that doesn't mean my love sucks. It just means it wasn't the right one for this person, you know? Bro, you sad, dog. God damn, bro, you sad, dude. Damn, yeah, relationship set back to back, dude. Relationship video. Why you choose this one, dude? God damn, that made me sad, dude. Uh, because uh, you know, like I, I thought about it too when I, I told you last week that I called the the ex, and um, that video was like, damn, that's so true. Because like I just wanted to have somebody but at the end of the day like it's such a selfish thing for me to want and realizing that she has found somebody that that you know fits her well and i get it you know like it just it's just one of those things it's just like you know i need to find my fit somewhere else yeah. and not try to force and ruin that situation, you know, so, so calling her was like an eye opener to like, okay, she's already like good. Like, I don't want to like, bother that situation. Man. I think I was trying to go in there and slip in, you know, a little quickie, but it's, it's just, it's just not going to work, man. And, it, and that's going to ruin her, her relationship with her person. I, I, I don't want that to happen. So. Man. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what to say. 
I don't know what to say in that video. Because that, guy, that guy's a divorce lawyer. And then uh, his content is all about relationship and stuff like that. Uh, so that's that's, that's, a, that's how I'm familiar with his stuff. But I don't, I don't really have anything to say at that, man. Just other than, you, know, you ain't got to be so sad, bro. I'm here, dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, uh, it's it's more of a, I, I don't know how, it's not even sad. It's more like a, I don't know what the word is. An awakening. Uh, that's what it is. An awakening. Yeah, and uh, and appreciating, you know, like, okay, cool, you like, you like, damn, that's what it is. You know, maturity, right? Yeah. So, it is what it is. Yeah, we're talking. Dope. dope man. She's good. Can't wait to can't wait till you get that Bugatti to rub it in her face, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the anger. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Like, what happened to your maturity? Fuck that shit. I got this Bugatti now. <laughs> I'm live, dude. I'm live. All right, here's this next one. Yeah, I would tell all these girls, I'm like, you have this dream list of what you want in a guy, but you're setting yourself up for failure because you're going to grow together. You don't marry the person of your dreams. You become the person of each yeah. other's dreams throughout time. And nice. that's really good. Ooh, wow. And so, wow. write that on the releasing those famous quotes. quotes. Two clips Re for this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Re releasing the expectations of yeah. like what I thought James should be and who I thought I should be, and just enjoying the moment and growing together. I wish I could go back in time and just go, it's fine. Mm -hmm. We're going to argue. We're going to fight. We're going to have disagreements, but we're also going to have a lot of fun. Wow. Okay. All right. For this very reason, I'm going to go back to my ex. And we're gonna figure shit out because our differences is gonna work. Hey, <laughs> uh, yo. Uh, I didn't see that one. I did not see that one. <laughs> yeah, even though we have our differences, I get it. But we're gonna make it uh, work. We're gonna go together. We're gonna figure you know? this shit out, woman. I know you got a man right now, but we're gonna figure that out too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit, uh, dog. That's funny, dog. God damn. Um, man, I'm a lot of truth too, man. Yeah, a lot of truth. Yeah. You randomly um, so the algorithm sending you this stuff, bro, or are you searching for this stuff, dude? That's tell me, man. Shit, I'll be I'll be seeing these videos and I, I hate it. I hate scrolling, dude. Like when I, if I catch myself scrolling for like 15 minutes, I'm like, fuck this. <sighs> that's funny. Yeah, that's the beauty. That's, that's the beauty of what we get to do, man. Of what well, I guess is what I get to do is just like I just try to be funny in the comment section. And I look for shit for for the podcast, and then <laughs> you know I be seeing your your comments on some of the videos I will be watching too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, next time I'll, uh, I'll I'll comment on it, okay. so it will go up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Boom, boom. Like, like once or twice. So man, I like that video though. A hundred percent, you know, like we all have this idea of like, who's your perfect uh, relationship partner or what do you look for in, in a relationship, right? You ask those things and then there are like fundamental truths, but then when you, you know, branch out from that, it's just kind of like, yeah, you, you probably end up compromising. You find uh, the right guy, you know, who, who fits those fundamental truths and then, and then they'll compromise for you as well, you know. Once you yourself fit those fundamental truths, and so I think um, you know, and then you just kind of dance with each other, right? You know, you you adjust to each other, you compromise, you learn, you grow, and then you know, I think um, I mean, that, that's what I had to do, and my wife had to do. You know, like I used to, I used to drink heavy like a motherfucker, you know, and then now it's like I, I've adjusted because you know I I want something different. You know, I'm growing as a person and um, and stuff like that. So, you know, you know, you know, like it takes a lot for a person to do that, though. Uh, I think that's kind of where like the the real problem is for relationship nowadays. Yeah, is that like it, it does take a lot to like want to learn and and compromise. But nowadays, it's just like I want a perfect woman. I want a perfect um, if you're not perfect, I'm moving on. I'm going, if you don't have an iPhone, then I'm going out of here. Like, dude, like, you know, like, it's it's tough, man. So, um, yeah. and that, like I said, it, it comes with maturity, you know, like, it's, but by the time you're 35 and you want to adjust, that's already too late. You know what I mean? It's like, damn. Yeah, 100%, man. 
I like that you brought that up because like people, because uh, you know, I, I I speak like I I speak because I'm you know I'm going through it and then I've already kind of you know paved a, a a real good entry you know for me and my wife and kids. But like for most people, you know, that's why the divorce rate is at sixty percent, um, probably going up. Um, and that's why like the dating game is so hard, you know, the online dating and people going overseas and shit. And so I, I think, I think the struggle is, um, you know, I think like, I guess there's a time, uh, there's an urgency in time because people feel like, you know, they're running out of time. And so when you give your time to somebody who can possibly fuck up your life or emotionally hurt you. Because that's the thing about love is that you, you become vulnerable, you know, and then you've got to be willing to be vulnerable. And if it's if you're looking for long term monogamous till death do us part, you, you got like maybe 60 years of, hey, don't fuck me over. All right. In this time span, you know, don't don't fuck me over, you know, um, and then when we have kids too and then life gets hard and then so there's there's a lot of that and so i think i think when you when people are in their dating phase they're just kind of weary of you know this person has to be a gentleman he has to be this he has to make a, a gajillion dollars he's got a you know simp for me he's got a you know knight in shining armor and 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 provide security so so that's why there's that like unrealistic expectation of a guy and an unrealistic expectation for a girl and and so when 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 these expectations aren't met you know and not only that but they probably don't know themselves a hundred percent fully you know what i'm saying and then so there's a lot of that too not only insecurity and and who they're gonna commit to but there's a lot of insecurity within themselves you know so I think that's that's the um I guess the self awareness piece that's very important and because 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 I'm not saying hey just go with one dude and then just stop fucking other people. I'm, I'm what I'm saying is like be vulnerable and getting hurt is a part of the process to find that one person, you know, but if you just never give it a chance you're never gonna find that person if you have un you know if you have these unrealistic expectations. You're gonna grow old and alone, you know. Um, so, how do you how do you start that um, the boundary? Uh, so you said be vulnerable. Uh, how would you say in a conversation, and when would you say it? Let's just say you you uh, give you a scenario. Uh, you're talking to a girl. Uh, you guys been hanging out for maybe you know once or twice. And you know she likes you. You like her, um, and you mean you know, potential that she's you know might be wifey. How do you how do you break it down to? Her? Like what? Like uh, like ask her out? No, like to, yeah, in a in, like almost like a stage, like the like with the warning before the storm. What do you mean? Like, cause you know, like, you know, you guys are gonna go through a lot of shit, right? And you guys are having a great time. Um, and both of you guys kind of know that you wanted to get into a relationship like soon. And, uh, how do you, how do you break it down to it? Like, Hey man, like you are a potential wifey and this, we went through a lot of shit and don't give up on me. How would you? Oh, oh, having that conversation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so they're already dating? Already dating. No, uh, it's almost dating. About to date. Still talking. Like kind of well, you don't even you don't even have the conversation. I think I think just let it play out. Start dating. Start getting to know each other, and then eventually have a you know serious conversations like that. Throw that, sprinkle that in, in uh, every now and then. When you have that conversation, then. So 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 make it official that you guys are dating and seeing each other regularly, and you guys aren't going to be seeing anybody else, and then. And then in one of those dates, pro probably even like when when that's become official, make that the first conversation. I think that I think that'd be a good introduction. Okay, I'll let you know how it goes down. Because it, it sets expectations from the from the from the get go. Is that hey? So we we've already set that we're dating each other, just each other. You know, we're not, we're not gonna we're not dating anybody else outside of you and me, and so we're boyfriend and girlfriend now, pretty much. 
and then let's have this conversation to set the expectation. I think when it comes down to it, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it up, and uh, hopefully, um, you give me good advice. Yeah. Or or if it if it if you have the conversation as friends, right? Because you're networking, you're meeting people and stuff like that, and uh, the conversation relationship comes up, then you talk about you know these things, you know, and then. And then, you know, let's say moments later, you know, you guys meet up again and you guys have that interest. And so, you know, like make make it make it um, make it uh, normalize that conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? What do they call it? Uh, uh, pillow talk? Is that the and anyways, I, I think pillow talk but like sex, sex talk in, in private. That's more pillow talk. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> okay. Was that the last video? That was the last video. Yeah. All right. Um, moving down. Here we go. I think. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you. You. I. I'll, I just. I just let you. I just let you watch it. Young girl, you being raised is no daddy around. You don't know what it feels like to get correction. Or, you know, be in the presence of a man as an authority figure. When your, you can have a man, around, like your mama could have a man around or your daddy could have been around. But if he's not allowed to have influence, like make decisions without your mama. Yeah, because I got a daddy, I don't act like that. Yeah, and put, without your mama putting your two cents mm -hmm. when a man make decisions, you ain't got no daddy around if he ain't have influence, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean by fatherlessness. A nigga might be round, like your mama might have had a boyfriend or a stepdaddy, but that nigga couldn't tell y'all shit without her putting her two cents, or your daddy really couldn't make no decisions for y'all without your mama speaking on it. Fatherlessness. All that shit is fatherlessness. So if you're a young girl and you raise your whole eight, your whole upbringing, 17, 18 years, you don't know what it feel like to be in the presence of a man that has some authority, how you gonna feel comfortable with this shit out in the world? This is why we end up struggling as young ladies trying to process and like feel comfortable around y'all feel like a nigga trying to control you feel like you're trying to tell me what to do feel like you're trying to use your money to do it's a lot of shit we misperceive or we you know we take it the wrong way because we don't know what it feel like to have a daddy that say this right. is the decision as a man there ain't no woman coming to put her two cents on it right Right. Then you only seeing how a woman solves and processes and run the household. This your programming. It's conditioning. Now flip the same shit to a young boy. You 16, 17, fully grown in your build, but you only ever saw a woman run shit. You only ever saw your. That's uh, that was a lengthy one, but fatherlessness is. I only understood half the words she said. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. You didn't understand. <laughs> Like, man, you ain't you ain't from the hood, then, dude. You ain't from the hood, then, dude. Man, we are not the same people, dog. I, <laughs> that was my language. Uh, That's my language right there, dog. <laughs> just let it uh, but yeah, uh, I think. Well, obviously, I think. That's the problem nowadays, right? Hey, wait, like, real, um, real quick before you start. Before you start, uh, Young Yi, one of our Patreon supporters. Shout out, Patreon supporters. Young Yi, we got Frankie and we got Johnny. Thank you guys what for up, supporting. Uh, so Young Yi gave us 99 stars, donated 99 stars, and he said, "I'm so up today." He said, "What's y'all's uh? What's uh, <laughs> Young Yi? Shout out to Young Yi again. He gave, he donated 101 star. So another another one on top of the 99. But he said, uh, "What was y'all's favorite skit?" That y'all shot back in the day. You go first. Oh, that's tough, man. We did a lot. We did a lot of good ones. I think um, I really liked. Oh man, I really liked uh, the the one we did with Kyle. Is that his name, Kyle? Where like the uh, where 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 I was like the gangster, and then I shot you with the the phone. I enjoyed that one. I think the the camera play and then the the acting was silly and then I enjoyed that one. That's I say fine. I say that's probably uh -huh. top five for me. Okay. Um, I remember uh, one of the, like I was just cracking laughing was the uh, the dishes. I was like, hey, uh, hey, man, where you gonna do the dishes? Oh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. And then, uh, yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna do the dishes. 
where you at? I already moved. We moved, man. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I turned around, and I got, like, facial hair. We markered it on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, that was funny. I, yeah, the execution to that was, was good. And uh, it was simple, it was funny. I remember it was just, like, so relatable and, like, over the top. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was funny. I like uh so was, one one of the uh I guess one of the original ones was um <laughs> when uh I think I just I just started recording you and you're like what you wanna fight? Come on, you take out your little card again. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you're like, come on, come on, tia, 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 tia. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. My brother's at the background is fixing the car. <laughs> Yeah. Dog, you're like you on beef, beef, and I was like, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one cracked me up, dog. God damn, that's funny, dude. Tia, tia, tia. <laughs> that's so stupid. That one was pretty fun. That was that was fun. That was a one of oh a, a shit, first. dude. Um, you remember the? You remember you got me? <laughs> that one. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty fun too. You got me. <laughs> <That's> so stupid. <laughs> oh shit! I don't remember now. It was like where I think the video starts where like we just walking next to each other. I think we're like wearing the same shirt too. <laughs> and then you yeah, trip yeah, me. Yeah. You trip me, and I'm like, ah, you got me. And then, uh, oh no, I trip you. And then uh, we're we're in your living room. I'm just eating like a bowl of rice, and then yeah. you slap my head with like newspaper, and then and then I choked a little bit, but I spat it all out, and I was like, "Ah, you got me!" And then um, I think uh, the next scene was uh, you you ran me I, over. Yeah, 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 I ran you over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you spat ketchup on the car, and you're like, "Yeah," and then. The last scene was uh, I'm washing dishes and you stab me. You're like, uh, wait, did so you, did stupid. You, dude. Did you turn and say you got me too? Or no, no, I was just like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm like that would be funny, huh? You <sighs> went, hey, hey. Oh, dog, that's so funny, man. Good times, <sighs> Youngie. All, all those, uh, I wouldn't say all of them, like. Uh, Cause there's there's some that where there's a lot of them actually that got deleted, but uh, you can find you can find um, most of the skits, you know, uh, quite quite a bit of videos. I think there's like seventy videos um, on the Patreon <laughs> that you subscribe to, Youngie. So I think you should have access to that. Uh, I'll, I'll after the podcast, I'll see if I can find the link and send it to you. But also, I think there's some on my uh, personal too. All all of those all of those I went through all of those, I downloaded yeah. it and then okay. put it on Patreon. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah the, those. I think it was like every day. Um, was just like consistently doing that. I remember. I was like, I think I was ahead of my time at that time because I was just like thinking, I was like, this is the new way. This is it. This is a brand nobody was paying uh, uh, influencers uh, to make these videos, bro. Like, this is it, man. This is. We got to go uh, full throttle on this. And then, uh, yeah, and, and, and fuck, man, it became, if, if we were consistent back then, and, and damn, dude, it was just ahead of our time a little bit, man. Yeah, yeah timing, in well, terms of timing, yeah. Yeah, you know, but it is what it is. I would like to say I apologize for quitting on you. <laughs> it, I still went on, man. I was like, I saw the vision. I was like, this is it. Um, but I think, man, um, I blame myself for this. Uh, but I, I really blame cannabis, my way of cannabis, oh. of fuck my my ambitions. Um. Okay. All right. I, I take I take that back then I take uh, <laughs> yeah that's <funny. laughs> well that's why you know like uh, that's why like you're 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 still known in in the Hmong community still man is like it's like because like it, it, there was the era of you and me and then you still continued and then you moved to L A and you still continued and then 
slowly, you know, stop doing sketches and yeah. you know, you start doing other things and you know, this this is a bittersweet thing that, that I, I'm not sure if I told you about this. Do you know why I stopped at LA, right? You stopped doing sketches in LA? Yeah. Oh, why? Um, because that was when the cannabis uh, industry was going for the more people. And uh, my mom was like, hey, I, I need I need help because I want to do this cannabis industry. Oh, okay. She needed... I was the only person that can literally help her and um, I remember back in the day, I was asking, I was like, hey, God, like, let me, like, I'm, let me get this done. And, like, I could finally spend time with my, with my mom in, in, a, in a fucking beautiful home, beautiful place, because I'm going to make it out there. And um, God made other plans, man. He was like, yeah, you're going to spend time with your mom, but not, not in, I'm not in a. But you ain't going to be successful in cannabis. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um, that was when, uh, yeah, so I went out and, and hugged my mom for, for a year. Mm, okay. And then, um, yeah, I, I didn't want to post anything about the cannabis, um, thing. And, and, and yeah, I was just silent for a year because, um, I was helping her out and they came back. I mean, I didn't want to do the skits no more because I was, I was fucking, when I, by the way, whenever I was at the, the weed, uh, whatever uh the cannabis uh farm i was high every day bro wow and then and i told my mom that i had i had to tell my mom that i was like mom i've i've been high every day since since we've been here <laughs> i've been smoking our supply <laughs> yeah i'm high when, when we're working i'm high i wake up like my you know the times when i when i get out and i'm just pretending like i'm shitting I'm not shitting. I'm 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 smoking fucking crack cannabis. Wow. But she was she was pretty understandable, man. She was just kind of like, well, if you do, do it. Uh, just don't do it a lot. I did every day. <laughs> <laughs> I did not hear those words. <laughs> yeah. It was so it was so tough, bro. Because um, man, dude, it was it was tough, bro. I might think about it. Kind of brings. Like tears in my eyes, cause um, is you lonely? Is that why? You think? Uh, yeah, yes and no, because um, my father was there too. Um, so I, I spent a lot of time with them. You know? oh, so I don't, I don't it at all. It's just that I think I could have uh, been more responsible and uh, and um, you know, came back stronger. But I didn't. I just fucking came back and and forgot about why why i went to la you know yeah and that kind of like the end of it and i just wanted to do i wanted to direct uh, uh music and, and and other stuff and i just put my focus on, on like cinema and not skits anymore and like i was doing a bunch of visual stuff and just learning about camera and, and all that stuff and yeah and then, yeah and that's that you know it was tough yeah man wow Wow. But yeah, you know, what a wild journey! It's awesome, dude. And now you're here. Yeah. Now here oh, we man. are. Now here we are. We've uh, regrouped, yeah. and we're 44 episodes in, man. Yeah. So, doing the right this time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Doing it better. All right. Let's uh, let's skip uh, that video and let's go on to the on. next video. <laughs> moving on. Great question, Yong Yi, uh, brother. Uh, got us reminiscing about our past, man. Good shit, man. Great question. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Love it. Also, just also, it was five hundred stars. <laughs> Damn. It's, uh, but uh, all right. but it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Before I head back over there, can I buy you ladies another round of drinks? Yeah. All right, now you're Appreciate just gonna order. Two Coronas for yourself and send them the bill. <laughs> Hand me two oh. Coronas and then you're gonna go up to that. Not on. You can't hear it? Oh, okay. Okay, I can hear it on live. Okay. So so this video, I wanted to show you this video because you gotta you got you gotta try this one of these days. Before I head yeah, back I, over I, there, I, can I, I buy you ladies another round of drinks? Alright, now you're just gonna order 
two Coronas for yourself and send them the bill. <laughs> Hand me two Coronas and then you're gonna go up to them with this bill. Give them a thumbs up. Yeah. So go give it to them right now. All right, I'm walking out. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me to leave y'all with the bill. <laughs> tell me to leave y'all with the bill. <laughs> they are flabbergasted. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> dog, dog, dog. One of these days we gotta go to the bar again and just pull one of these, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think this would be a this would be a great introduction to say, hey, you know, I was just fucking around and you know. <laughs> so 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 that's pretty much it. And then uh there's another prank too, but yeah. it's it's equally that's as funny. But same It's funny because I saw that video today. Oh yeah? Uh, okay. Yeah. Same algorithm knows us, bro. Like we we watch the same videos now. Okay. Um but yeah, that's yeah. Ross is a fucking genius, man. I love how like ironic his his guest stars always so like um, different and unique. Man, that was funny. That was. Um, I miss I miss going out of the bars, man. Uh, I miss going to bars. You know, honestly, I I miss uh, I miss uh, I miss the crazy, unpredictable Peter too, man. <laughs> I miss that wild child. I miss that trump that that traumatized, insecure, clueless wild child. Sometimes, man, that guy that guy is fun, man. He's obnoxious, but you know, yeah. if I'm being honest, that that guy was the life of the party. You know, <laughs> I've, I've learned a lot from that person. The you know, yeah, know that you can be that person too. That's that's like a part of you. You know, yeah. Yeah, hey, who, who, uh, know, who knows, man? Maybe one day when the kids grow up, man, that that guy come back out again, man. <laughs> uh, let me see. The youngest, the youngest right now is like seven months. So I got eighteen years. I got eighteen years. I got eight. I can wait eighteen years. You know. Man, uh, uh, <sighs> like I, I, it's one of those things. It's a love and hate thing, right? It's like. Yeah. I miss that person, but at the same time, it's like I'm glad, like I'm done with that person. Oh, you yeah. know, like that yeah. person was cool, but now we're gonna do it the, the right way. You know, yeah. make it count. Bars and bars is just fun, man. You know, like the, the crazy thing is, like, you like a lot, of things, a lot of people don't understand is like you go to a bar to fucking conversate. If you go to the bar and you're just standing there, like you're just literally wasting your time, dude. Like, don't like, let's just, it's just a waste of time, man. Like, you, you're there to conversate, dude. Like, just talk. Talk your shit. Talk about anything, everything. It, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, yeah. You, you play, you play a different persona, dude, with, with, yeah. with people you meet, you know? Yeah. 100%. Or, or you in the dance circle, right? You starting a dance battle, you know? <laughs> uh, you, uh, oh. I'm, did you did, did you and I do this? Like, we go to bars that have different uh, occupations going in. Yeah, we probably did. That sounds like us. Uh, yeah. Uh, I remember uh, one of my friends. He like he's so like he wanted to be so authentic, you know, with himself. And I'm the, I'm like, and he's and he's an actor, and I'm like, yeah, hey, you know, we're gonna go to this place, and we, you know, we can, I'm gonna give you the occupation and what you do, whatever it may be. And he was so upset. He was like, I don't want to do that. That is not me. I feel like I'm fooling people. I'm like, dude, like, have some fun. Like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're taking yourself so a little bit too seriously. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, none of these motherfuckers out here care who the fuck you are. <laughs> you know? Yeah, dude, like, who cares? That's funny. And if, if they do actually want to get to know you, then, yeah, tell them the truth later. You know what I mean? Like, cool. Oh. Like, you gotta take it that serious, bro. That's probably why you're not getting laid or have a girlfriend lately. Because you take shit too serious in the beginning. Yeah, I think, uh, you remember Chip Whitley? I think it was Chip Whitley. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember this one time, dude. It's so crazy that I remember this, but like, uh, I think we were either pre gaming 
or or we were just there drinking and then I got fucked up like like I normally do. But there's this that corner bar, I think by the Blue Dome. Um, like it was you, me, Losa. I think it's I think it was just us three. Maybe Philip Chap. I think Philip Chap was there. And then um, like <laughs> like. I think no, we had uh I think we were we were bar hopping and then we all had a uh Australian accent. Remember that shit dog? Oh, yeah. That was uh I remember that. Yeah. And it's all right. That. So that's what we were gonna do, right? And then the story was we're here for a wedding, we're from Australia. Yeah, and yeah. then um man, I remember it was I was uh it's it's blurry, but I remember this this moment where I was talking to this dude in the Australian accent. Los Angeles is watching me, you know, um, be a fool. And then I'm like, hey, man, what's up, dude? And then I grab his beer and I chug it. <laughs> and then I walked off. And then Los Angeles, he told me later, he was like, hey. he's like, dude, like, dude, I thought you was going to get your ass beat. And then so I told him I was sorry and then bought him a drink. And then, oh, dude, I was like, my bad, dog. <laughs> uh, dude. Do- do you remember the part when uh, we went to uh, a chick and she was like, she was like, uh, we had a Australian accent and, and uh, we met her and we're like, yeah, she's like, what part of Australia are you from? We're like, Sydney. And she was like, I'm from there. I'm like, what? And then, <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, we know nothing about Sydney, dude. Uh, oh, and so, I think I think you and I had a conversation with her, right? Oh, dude, I don't remember that, dude. Damn. I remember, I remember she uh, she threw me on. She was like, she said, where, she said, where are you from? We ever from Australia. What city? Uh, uh, Sydney. And they fucking threw me off. And I was just like, fuck this. And I fucking left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Dude. I was like, uh-uh. I ain't gonna fuck this, dude. <laughs> You're gonna break my cover, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a brain power right now, huh? Did you, were you still in character? You had the accent, too? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was still... <laughs> Everything, everything, dude. I was that didn't come cover. I had uh, to go out. Cool, I'm out. Boom, bro. That was so fun, man. I remember that. Like, like it's is that Peter that I miss. You know what I'm saying? Like those, those wild times and yeah. Oh man, uh, the improv to um to these man is 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 amazing, man. And, you know, I think I think you and I was always been good on like uh taking shit on our on our feet and just like yeah. moving on with the flow with it. Bullshit. And bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And like, it, it took like it took those bar moments to you know for us to be really good at it too, man. To, it's to it's really so shine. funny. <laughs> That's funny, but I love great times. All right. You ready for this last video, brother? I think uh Yeah let's let's go for it. Let's, um, <clears throat> I gotta eventually uh, study. Just do as, as eleven. Okay, here we go. Netflix, if you really wanna find out if love is blind, you need to put an ugly bitch in there. Stat. Yup. You need to put a fat bitch in there. Oh, huh? Yeah. Put a fat bitch. In there. Put a paraplegic in there. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. So, so he he's referring he's referencing yeah. uh, <laughs> love oh. is blind the the show. Yeah, I remember that show. Yeah. Um. Man. Yeah, that show was. Um, I, I I never seen that show, but I think that is true. I think you should definitely test that out. But well, here's the thing, man. They're they're smarter than that, dude. Because automatically they're gonna say no. Hey, man, it's, and, a, it's a show. It's got to make money, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> if they put uh, ugly, okay. if they put ugly, undesirable people under, ain't nobody gonna watch that shit, bro. Ain't nobody yeah, gonna watch that shit. Uh, connected? Fuck that. You know he has he has a point, but like that's a fa- that's not that's a failing show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they probably tried that and it didn't work and it didn't go on air. I'm pretty sure. That's funny. like it's all about the money. Yeah, that's Hollywood, man. You you know it the best. Yes, yeah, it's all about money. Cool, man. With that being said, dude, uh, that wraps up the last video. I just wanted, you know, some giggles in there. Um, but um, I hope you enjoyed this time that we shared together. I, I would like to apologize to everybody about the, the hiccup in the beginning. Um, my bad. It happens. Yeah, any last words before we close out the show, man? 
Uh, no, nah, man. Uh, thank you, everyone who donated today, uh, who sent us the stars. We love you guys. So, so much love. Um, we had good conversations. Young Yi, great questions. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next Thursday. And uh, Frankie's got to study.